Police say a local man prowled the streets pretending to be a rideshare driver, then raping unsuspecting women who got into his car. Detectives have found seven victims so far. KCAL 9's Randy Page has more on the man who is now under arrest. When we talk about rideshare companies, we're talking about companies like Lyft and Uber and others. Now, we don't know which company this alleged rapist claimed to be working for, and to be clear, he wasn't working for any of them. We can tell you, though, that the crimes he's accused of are extremely violent. The felony complaint details 27 violent sex crimes involving seven victims. Prosecutors say the serial rapist, identified in the complaint as 44-year-old Nicholas Morales, targeted his victims by posing as a rideshare driver. This LAPD news release issued last summer includes a composite drawing of a rape suspect who sexually assaulted a woman who got into a car thinking it was the ride she ordered. Nicholas Morales is charged with a sexual assault on the same day, as seen in count 11 of the felony complaint. Never bothered me. A neighbor told us he often saw Morales cleaning two or three different cars in front of his Canyon Country home. Sometimes he was cleaning, sometimes he was just vacuuming or so. Vacuuming. Yeah. Security expert Lewis Perry says whenever you order a car through a rideshare service, make sure you've been provided with the name and photo of the driver, a description of the car, and a license plate number. Don't get into a car until you have this information, and even then, he says, follow your intuition. If it doesn't feel good, walk away. That's the best advice I can tell you. Above all, he says, don't get into a car driven by a stranger who offers you a ride, even one who claims to be a rideshare driver. In 2018, if you're willing to jump into any car that a person walks up to you and say, hi, I'm a driver from this company, you're making a big mistake and eventually you're going to become a victim. I spoke to a member of the Morales family here in Canyon Country who said his family is not making any comments at this time, and I can tell you this young man appeared to be heartbroken. In Canyon Country, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.